So look, I've got to be honest, I've been using the same camera monitor brand for absolutely forever and I trust their brand, but I thought, I need, to, I need to test all these other brands because I need to recommend other things as well. And Viltrox contacted me and they wanted to send this out for review and I thought, why not? It's about time I explore other camera monitor brands and uh, this is incredible, the DCX3 by Viltrox. It's got uh, dual HDMI, dual SDI, this MPF battery that's actually included, HDMI cord included, this sunshade on here. Wow, so much value. Let's talk about it. What's going on my friends? I hope you're all doing absolutely fantastic. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and uh, give me a thumbs up. So uh, let's look at the, uh, the specs of this Viltrox DC-X3 monitor. So the Viltrox monitor actually comes in two versions, the DC-X2 and the DC-X3. They are both pretty much identical, but the DC-X3 has SCI in and out and HDMI in and out, whereas the DC-X2 only has HDMI in and out. Now they are a six inch touchscreen camera monitor of 2000 nits. They had three power options, USB-C, MPF battery, and DC power. It actually has four custom buttons at the top, a headphone out, a HDMI in and out, and an SDI in and out for the DC-X3. It comes with a clip-on sunshade, a full-size HDMI to a mini HDMI, a standard HDMI to HDMI, a USB-A to USB-C, a hot shoe adapter, the MPF battery, and it all comes in a soft shell. Now the DC-X2 comes in at 238 US, while the X3 comes in at 268 US. Okay, first of all, six inch monitors. I feel like six inch is kind of that sweet spot. You know, five to six inches, kind of those really small ones that you can actually chuck on, you know, Sony Alpha cameras, your basic mirrorless cameras. And you can even throw this on the Sony FX6, larger cinema cameras, like I've actually been using it with the FX6. And it's just right. I do feel like for me personally, uh, I prefer bigger the better. So seven inch, eight inch monitors are fantastic when it comes to the FX6. But when you throw those larger monitors on the smaller alpha cameras that's when things get just a little bit disproportionate the weight tends to take over it really depends on if you actually utilize the MPF batteries or power it through uh, you know DC but this one also has USB-C power which is one of the biggest features that I love about this thing every camera monitor should be powered by USB-C now the impressive thing is that I've actually been powering it through USB-C through five volts, literally just through uh, my FX6 has a five volt out, a USB-A directly into USB-C, and it powers it absolutely no problems. That takes care of a lot of different power solutions because you could have an external battery pack, you could just power it directly through your V-mount battery. Uh, there's so many different ways you can actually power this thing, which is so good. And obviously there is that DC power in. But the biggest thing that I love about not just the Viltrox monitor here, it's actually what comes included, and that is this MPF battery. They do actually have this F550 battery and it's white, it looks cool. But one of the coolest things is it actually has this. It actually shows you how many batteries actually left in it, but that's not all. This actually has USB-C charging in this as well, which is just so convenient. My small rig battery actually has, my V-mount battery has USB power charging in, so I don't actually have to carry my big V-mount batteries. And now I don't actually have to carry a Sony MPF battery charger as well. I can just have USB-C literally almost everything, which is so cool, so convenient, and just future-proof. Now, specifically for me, when it actually comes to camera monitors, SDI is pretty important because the FX6 actually has HDMI out and SDI out, but I always use SDI because it's a more stable connection. It hard locks in HDMI. Same again, it's, it's really good, but still there is that possibility of it pulling out. It's just, I feel just much more confident using BNC cables, you know, SDI cables. It's just so much more of a solid connection. Plus, this doesn't just have SDI in, but it also has SDI out. But opposed to those two, you still have your standard HDMI in and HDMI out as well. If you do have smaller Sony mirrorless cameras, you know, new Canon R5 II actually has, you know, HDMI now, large HDMI which is great but uh, if you don't have full-size HDMI you can still actually utilize micro or mini HDMI to full-size HDMI which it actually comes with a HDMI to HDMI but also a mini HDMI to HDMI cable 
Now, just a quick tip when utilizing HDMI, you can actually utilize HDMI clamps, which most cages actually come with HDMI clamps. The included HDMI cord doesn't fit with my tilter cage, uh, but it doesn't matter because I do have other HDMI cables that I utilize when I actually need to use HDMI and I just clamp it in. It's just a really solid connection and it just avoids any sort of incident if it gets pulled out or broken inside your HDMI. And while we're on what it actually includes, it actually does come with this monitor mount as well, which attaches directly into your hot shoe or cold shoe adapter. Now let's go into some of the features that this monitor actually has. Now double tapping the screen actually brings up the menu and at the bottom you actually have image adjustments with like brightness, contrast, saturation, hue, sharpness, backlight and color temp. Now the next page actually allows you to adjust the thickness and color of your marker guides. It also gives you like an overall screen marker guide, gives you the rule of thirds, aspect ratio, image stretch, pretty super useful zoom feature, which actually gives you about 10 times zoom for critical focus and anamorphic de-squeeze options. Then the next two pages actually gives you more exposure tools, kind of like false color, histograms, vector scopes, RG parade, uh, full waveforms, and it just really depends on which one you actually go for. And it also gives you the ability to load in your custom lights. Now they are all pretty standard features that you see in most monitors, and it does give you small micro adjustments when it comes to focus peaking and zebras to change the percentage of how strong you actually want the feature to actually be. Now, one of the cool features that I did mention at the start is this sunshade. It's pretty much comes with it, which is really good. It fits absolutely perfect and it's easy to take off and put back on. It clips onto the four corners of the actual monitor and then you can pretty much use the monitor as is or literally just snap it straight on and flick this up. It is super easy to use, super fast, and actually very good material. It's like a really hard plastic material, and it just seems really, really solid. Now, not that the FX6 monitor is anything to compare it to, but you can see here that I pretty much can't see the FX6 screen. Having this monitor on here with the sunshade is actually blocking out some of the sun. It's just making it so much brighter and easier to see, and uh, I would be completely useless if I did have to rely on the FX6 monitor here. So when it comes to pricing with monitors, this seems to be a pretty big determining factor if someone's gonna be purchasing this, like 238 US or 268 US for the uh, DCX3 is pretty cheap. And especially with this full solid metal design, it is built really well. And the features that you actually get in here, I think the price is actually quite decent. This does sit above Viltrox's other monitor, the DC550, which is a 5.5 inch. It is a little bit more of a plastic design and it is on the cheap and so this one is a little bit more premium than that version. Now look, overall, the design is absolutely flawless. I love the full metal design, uh, SDI out, SDI in, dual HDMI, uh, USB-C power, one of the best things I've ever seen on a monitor, no matter how small of a feature that is, it's just super useful in my situation and probably a lot of other people's situation as well, but you can't go wrong with a monitor like this. I think with the price that it's at, it just offers incredible value and I'm so glad I actually accepted this one for a review copy because uh, it's just opened my eyes to other camera monitors and uh, yeah, I think this one is going to be a safe bet to actually get. So anyway, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I will put a link in the description below if you do want to check this camera monitor out and a couple of other accessories that are over here as well with, you know, the MPF batteries and HDMI cables and camera monitor mounts as well. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, let's get it.